Have you ever heard this question? If God is so good, why does he allow evil? Or sometimes this question is asked this way. Why does God allow tragedy? Why does he allow war and injustice? Why does he allow babies to be born blind? Or why is there sickness and even death? You know, there are many people who have turned against God because of a tragedy in life. Maybe you feel like you've been dealt a harsh hand in the game of life, or perhaps your parents divorce, or maybe a loved one died unexpectedly. You have a disability or know someone who does, and you ask the question, why? You know, man's general tendency is to blame God for evil and suffering and pass all responsibility to him. As a result, we often assume two things. Either God is all-powerful, but not all-good, therefore he does not stop evil, or he is all good, but not all powerful. Therefore, he cannot stop evil. But you know, the Bible reminds us that God is good. In fact, Jesus said in Luke 18 and verse 19, No one is good, but one that is God. The question is not if God is good, but why does God allow evil? Well, we must remember, you know, man was not created evil. But God, man was created perfect. He was created ageless, innocent, and immortal. However, God also created man with a free will, the ability to choose right and wrong. You know, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve chose to sin. They chose to do the one thing God commanded them not to do. As a result, the whole human race came under the curse of sin. That's why the Bible says in Romans 5 and verse 12, Therefore, just as one man through sin entered the world and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because all sinned. You see, the point we must keep in mind is that people, not God, are responsible for sin. But you might ask the question, well, why didn't God make man so he could not sin? Well, because that would make us less than man. If God did not give us a free will, we would not be, we would simply be mere puppets or, you know, marionettes on a string, remote control robots that bow before him at the touch of a button. But what makes you you is your ability to choose. In fact, our free will is our greatest blessing and in many ways, our greatest curse. You see, when we look at evil in the world today, we love to blame God, but the blame lies at our feet. The surging crime rate, the increase in violence, the breakup of the home is due to men and women making wrong choices and following after sin rather than God's standard. In fact, most of the ills in the world today are the direct result of disobeying God's command. That's why the Lord said in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 15, he says, See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments, his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you in the land with which you go to possess. You see, God has given us his standards to live by. But we have disobeyed them, and as a result, we have repeated, and we have reaped the inevitable results of our poor choice. And may God help us in the understanding of his word. And may God bless you today.